Hey, welcome back to Archihacks. Today we're going to be taking a look at making our Rhino UI more fancy. So as you can see, my Rhino UI is a little bit different from what comes outside the box. So the way you do that isn't anything too special, like using third-party plugin or scripts. It's actually all built into default Rhino. I'll show you how to do that right now. So when I first opened Rhino, it looked something more like this. It's very bright and clean, uh, which is nice for a certain kind of environment. But when you're spending a lot of time in a dark space, working on Rhino for an extended amount of time, it can actually be very tiring for your eyes. So one way to deal with that is by making your workspace a lot more darker. That might be more sustainable for working in a darker environment for an extended amount of time. And this can be done by through three steps. Number one is by making your display mode background much darker. So I'll start with that. I'll click on the background and choose solid color. And for the color, I'll choose something much darker, like 40. And then secondly, I need to go into the options, go to appearance and color. There are two parts to this. First is the command line, which is currently white background with black text, which can be adjusted through these two um, color swatches. I'll first choose pure black. And for the text color, I'll choose green so that we have matrix-like look, like a hacker. And this option actually allows you to customize your font and font size. This might be really useful if you're having trouble reading from high resolution screen or having trouble reading small text. And then we'll go into the colors tab, which allows you to control in more detail. And amongst all these options, what's most important for us today will be in the general tab, which allows you to control the window colors, which is the most of the surface that you see on your screen. Now, if you look closely on the UI, you'll realize that there are multiple colors in action. First, for the main toolbar, there's a brighter part and a darker part. And these colors are controlled by the window color. So I'll choose something a lot darker for the darker color. And you'll see that your UI updates immediately. And for the second color, I'll choose slightly brighter but a lot darker color. And there we go. And you can continue to work through these colors and tweak it to your liking. I like to have this grayscale look. Uh, and feel free to spend a lot of time just browsing through and tweaking the colors to, until it makes a lot of sense for you. I like to make this an inactive viewport a light and the active one slightly darker. And make the window text white. There we go. That's what controls this little tag here, which updates every time you change your viewport. And that's about it. Currently, there's no alternative ways to change the colors of these tabs, but this is how it is for now. Once you're done changing the color of the UI HUD, I like to come back up here and customize the grid color. The grid is in this area here. And for the major grid line, I'll choose slightly bright gray. And for the minor gray uh, grid line, I'll choose something darker since I'm using the darker background. And there we go. It looks much more advanced, sleek looking adva uh, UI, much like 3ds Max. It'll get your friends wondering what program are you using, but this is actually just a regular old Rhino. Now, one thing you might want to do is save this template so that when you're starting up in a new computer or a new Rhino interface, or once if you're sharing um, Rhino and people have different preferences, you can save the settings so that you can quickly retrieve them when you're using them. And the way to do that is first by saving your options through options export. And I'll write over this demonstration file. This creates an INI file, which is basically a text file that specifies the settings that you have made. And then you can come to another computer with a different settings and you would like to quickly import your options. So 
actually just going to restore defaults so that we can show how quickly we can change it. Oh yeah, it was a value it was forty. Right? Okay. So you can go to options import now. And then locate the file that you've saved just now. And make sure to check on the appearance tab. Uh, you could check on the other ones, and this will import the settings that you had at the time of your export. And it'll actually wipe out what you currently have. So I'll be careful with that. So for now, I'll choose appearance only and click OK. And there we go. We have restored all the settings that we have made before. So this is the current UI I have. If you're interested in copying this style, I'll include a file in the description that you can free to down you're free to download and import into your Rhino. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.